Hello everybody and welcome back to another unboxing video or opening video. Today we are opening more Pokemon cards. So we actually have two different sets here. So we have uh, one booster box of Champions Road and then we also have another booster box of Electrifying Tackle. And with the Champions Road, the pulls that we're going for today are basically any of the Hyper Rares. The uh, Hyper Rare Articuno, uh, Salamence, or Caesar, any of them. And then with the Electrifying Tackle, of course, the pull that we are trying to get is the Hyper Rare VMAX Pikachu or the regular Full Art VMAX Pikachu. Alrighty. And today, I think uh, I'm going to start with probably... The Champions Road Packs. So let's go ahead and get right into this. This is going to be a bit of a faster video because uh, maybe if I can get these packs open at a decent rate. Uh, but I don't want this to be a super long video. So just like the last video I did where I opened two booster boxes, I'm going to try and be fast with these. Not going to really... Oh, Totoda, I didn't know he was in there. And a holographic Tyranitar. Is that holographic? It is. All right, cool. It, it was like barely holographic. So it confused me a little bit. But yeah, I'm not really going to talk too much. I'm not going to stick too long on one card. I'm just going to open and keep trucking. Again, my phone does not record things. For too long, about 30 minutes is the max record time before it says you need to make more space. Ugh. I've seen a lot of older Pokemon cards in this Champions Road box, which I really like. Because, I don't know, it just brings back more nostalgia for me. Like, the Totodile brings back a lot of nostalgia for me. Makes me remember all the good times I had playing the Pokemon uh, games and collecting the cards. I think I stopped playing Pokemon games around Diamond and Pearl. I think Platinum was the last Pokemon game that I played. And then... That was also the last set of cards that I collected were the Diamond and Pearl. Ooh. So here's our first pull of the day. It is a GX Salamence holographic card. Not full art, but still a really cool pull. One thing you may notice is that the Champion's Path, or I'm sorry, that was Champion's Road, uh, set is a sun and moon set, whereas the electrifying tackle is actually a sword and shield set. There's no reason why I decided to do that. I just felt like opening two different sets, and they were the last two booster boxes that I had. So, that is why we are opening these two. I also want to open two booster packs because I felt like, I don't know, it's just more exciting when you open more than one. Adds more of a rush to it. So we got Sable there starting off this pack. Spinarak. And a holographic Blaziken. Alright, alright. So far we've gotten three pulls. Two holographics. One GX holographic card. Starting off pretty good. But again, we are looking for a hyper rare. Any hyper rare or full art would be just amazing to pull from these set. Let's go ahead and see if we can find one. Or a Bill's Maintenance like we just saw. Uh, full Art Bill's Maintenance would be really cool to pull. Uh, I don't remember what the secret gold cards are or if there are any in this set at all. But if we ended up pulling one, that would be really cool as well. Make sure it's in the center of the camera. Make sure it's focused. Be a good YouTuber. And a... Oh, man. I forget the name of this guy. But another holographic card nonetheless. Let's go ahead and keep on going. 
trying to make this in 30 minutes or less. Do our little card trick. Actually, have I been doing the card trick? I do not remember. I think so. Oh, sorry. Just got done talking about being a good YouTuber, and here I am not putting the cards in the center of the screen. Oh, boy. Go next pack. Oh, I think I see something. Yeah, there it is. A little shiny there. Another holographic card. Getting some good pulls. Nothing too amazing. I know I said in the, my last video that I was opening these packs a little too close to the camera, so I am trying to keep that in mind. Although it is a little hard just to remember and multitask through this. I'm trying to talk, make sure you guys are entertained, and then I'm also opening cards at the same time. And I'm also trying to just remember to do certain things like keep the packs away from the camera while I open them. So that way they don't murder your guys' ears. And... Uh, Remembering to do the card trick. Remembering to center the cards in the center of the screen and make sure that it is focused. Slugma there. I love that card art there. All these card arts. Ooh! And a GX Articuno Holographics card. That is really cool. I definitely wanted an Articuno today, and here we have it. It looks like the centering is off from left to right, the right being a little thicker than the left, but other than that, I do not see any whitening on any of the edges or corners, and the surface looks good. A lot of these newer sets, the cards in them have just a better quality of printing. They're not off center or anything like that, so I'm really happy about the quality of the cards. Again, being more aggressive with these packs, I don't have time to struggle opening with them. I know you guys probably don't like me or like to see me struggle with the packs, so I am just ripping them up. And a ho oh, oh, wow, that is a really cool card. Not holographic, but it is still really cool to see. As I've said in my previous videos, I do really like the uh, legendary birds and the dogs. Lugia, Ho-Oh, all of them. Really cool. Alrighty, got some Bell Sprouts, Kangaskhan, and another holographic. Put that in the pile. Whoa. Just manhandling these packs today. Now, I did just get done recording my first video where I opened up two uh, explosive walker sets. I think that's what they were called. I do not remember exactly what the set was called. I opened up two booster boxes, and I actually pulled my very first hyper rare. So I want to see if I can keep the streak going. You may notice that my voice is a little more gruff or rough, not as clear when I talk. But, ooh, wow, a Feral Gator holographic card. That is awesome. I did not even know this guy was in here. Very nice. But yes, please forgive me for sounding a little off in this video. I was screaming my head off when I pulled the Hyper Rare, so <laughs> my voice is a little gone now. Alrighty. But I will try and make sure that I am able to be heard, another ho, -oh. and uh, that you guys can understand what I'm saying and that it doesn't sound too terrible. Here we go. We are already on the second half of this booster box, making a great time. Do our little card trick. And we are off. And another holographic card. Wow. Lots and lots of holographics, but no full arts. At least not none that I remember. I, I know that we've gotten a couple of GX cards, but no full arts yet. 
Normally you get about one full art per booster box, but so far we have not had that good of luck. But I do love these card arts in this set. This is actually a really nice looking set. I like the older Pokemon that they brought in. And I just love the card arts. A lot of nostalgia for me. Go ahead and flip. Do a little card trick. Toted Isle. Oh, and a GX Mr. Mime holographic card. Again, it is not full art, but that is still really cool nonetheless. Today in this video, we will be opening 60 booster packs, just like the last video that I did. I like these bigger openings. I think it's more exciting to do bigger openings. But go ahead and let me know in the comment section below what you think of these faster. Ooh! Wow, so we got our first full art card of the day. This is, I believe, uh, I forget, Poke News or something like that. That is amazing. Also, in one of my previous videos, I pulled a Leon trainer card, full art holographic card, and I had no idea it was actually really valuable. I thought the Charizard from that set would have been more valuable. I believe that was from the Darkness of Blaze booster boxes that I opened. But yeah, I thought the Charizard would be more valuable, even though it was just a holographic, no full art or anything, and another Blaziken uh, holographic. But uh, the Leon full art trainer card ended up being like, I looked up some prices on a couple of different sites and it was like around $50. I was shocked. I did not praise that card enough. I didn't even like look at the condition in the video. I did take a look after I recorded that video and realized I didn't do that in the video. So I apologize for that. If I see any cards that I know are valuable, then I will definitely look at them a little closer. Um, and I'm also doing a little more research with looking up the names of the sets before recording the videos, looking at a couple of prices for different cards, just seeing what cards are in each set. Obviously, I don't go through the different cards all that well before I open the packs because I want to be a little surprised when I open these. Like, I did not know Totodile was in here. Even though there's a Feral Gator on the box, I should have known. But yeah. Anyways, I like to keep it a little bit of a surprise for when I open these. Ooh, and a... Oh, I forget. Is this Steelix? Steelix holographic card. Love it. Alrighty, we are almost through the first booster box in, in under 15 minutes. This has got to be super fast. I might slow down for the second booster box, but we will see just how fast I can get through these. We can see what I pull. I might have to pause if I pull anything and just take a look at the card. Oh, there's a little bit of clear plastic down here that's holding up these cards. Got it. Do a little card trick, do a flip. Ooh, I see something shiny back there. Okay, starting off with a trainer card. All righty. Ooh, and a GX Caesar. Again, not a full art. Man, they really don't like giving you the full arts in this set. That is really cool nonetheless. Got a GX Caesar. Centering is off for sure, left to right. This is probably the worst centering I've seen on these newer sets, but this is still a really good card to pull. But let's move on. We have a lot of packs left to open. It's so little time. Let's get into it. There we go. Do a little card trick and then do a flip. All right, he's starting off with another trainer card. Spinarak, Electorb, oh, and a Bell Awesome, I think is that guy's name. Cool. 
Here we go. Pupitar. This guy. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Torchic. And another holographic card. Man, so many holographics, but no full arts. Well, it, we did get one full art, which is great, but no hyper rares. Uh, so let's go ahead and sprinkle a little bit of that last pack magic onto this last pack of the Champions Road Booster Pack. And then after I'm done going through these cards, we will go ahead and take a look at what we have pulled so far today. Alrighty, make sure it's in focus. Go ahead and get started. And we got a trainer card. Again, the last pack for me always doesn't really have anything all too good in the last pack. I don't know why. Maybe my magic's just broken, but uh, maybe one day we will break that trend. But for now, let's just go through what we've gotten so far. A GX Caesar, Steelix Holographic, Blaziken Holographic, and a Pokey News, I believe. I don't remember. I'll have to look up the name of this card. But nonetheless, it is a full art holographic card. A GX Mr. Mime. Another holographic. Feral Gator holographic. Another holographic. And a GX Articuno holographic card. Love that card. Love the legendary birds. I really want to see a Moltres. But unfortunately, I haven't seen a Moltres in any of the sets recently. And a GX Salamance. Another cool looking card. And a holographic Tyranitar. Alrighty, so that was the first booster box so far, and we have just one more booster box to go through, 30 packs left, let's see what we can get, again we are going for that VMAX Hyper Rare Pikachu, hopefully we can get it. So I have opened already a couple of voltage or I'm sorry electrifying tackle booster boxes on this channel and we got a holographic there but I haven't really gotten anything too amazing that I remember I think we got a couple of full arts actually I think Leon trainer card was from electrifying tackle yeah I'm pretty sure it was so it'd be really cool if we got a hyper rare version of him Yeah, okay. And a holographic Zapdos. Man. He's given all the love to Zapdos and Articuno in these sets, but no Moltres. I cry every time. Anyways, let's continue. A Charmeleon starting off the pack strong. Elector. Mystery Goo. And a Holy Cicada. Alrighty. Whoa. Do a little card trick. Do a flip. Alrighty, make sure it's in the center. Focused. Charmander. Whoa. Trash bag. And another holographic Snorlax. I said this in my first uh, booster box opening of Electrifying Tackle, but... Snorlax is one of my favorite cards. One of my favorite Pokemon. Definitely in the top 10. I don't think it is my absolute favorite. I think that goes to Charizard or Lugia. Alrighty, starting off with a Jolteon. Make sure that is focused. There we go. Alrighty. And a Cicada. Love the artwork on that one. I said it in my last video. I just love that style of artwork where it looks hand-drawn with colored pencils or something. And another trainer card. Electric Zebra. Spiky Egg. Mole. Spiky Egg again. Man, not having such great... Wow, I just tore that pack completely in half. Again, not having such great luck with these. 
my last video I actually pulled a hyper rare I was really hoping maybe oh and a V holographic card first real pull of this booster box yeah I was really hoping to get another hyper rare or full art out of this set just because I was having such good luck in the last video that I made where I opened up the explosive walker packs but it seems like I'm not having such luck during this opening I haven't pulled anything too crazy yet Starting off with the Flareon, and I did see a little something in the back of this EV. And, ooh, a V Max holographic full art card. I do not know the name of this guy, but I have not pulled this guy yet. So that's awesome that I haven't seen this guy yet. Very nice. Very nice. Again, I don't know the value of that card, but we can go over the overall condition of it later on in the video actually I'll just go ahead and show you while I'm here while we're on this card I'll go ahead and show you the condition if my camera will focus there it goes looks good on the front did not see any whitening centering on the back is a little off left to right actually looking through the camera you can definitely tell it is definitely off left to right but other than that I do not see any whitening or anything else on the card. So besides the centering, it is an overall great card. Anyways, did I do the card trick on this? I don't think I did. Oh, if I did, then this is... All right, starting off with the Vaporeon. I don't think I did the card trick on this one, so I think we're okay. Sable, Mystery Goo, and an item card trainer card alrighty it's always a little sad whenever you get a trainer card as the rare but it does happen and we did just pull a VMAX full art card so I'm not too disappointed Whalmer I didn't know I watched back in my last video I called the second evolution of Whalmer <laughs> Whalmer and uh, it's actually Whale Lord so I apologize for that. And oh, I actually really wanted the holographic Machamp. And there we have it, a holographic Machamp. Perfect, add it to my collection. Alrighty, we are almost halfway through this booster box. Starting off with a trainer card, Machop. Little Quiet Bug, Slagmatar. Walleye, and that is that for that pack. Oh, oh my goodness. I just completely knocked the camera all around. I am so sorry. Here we go. Back on track. Maybe. I am so sorry about that. I did not mean to do that. My phone is currently charged in because I. this is the second video I'm recording. So my video, or my phone, ugh, was just about half dead. So I figured I would plug it in and charge it, and my hand just barely caught the charging cable as I was going for the next pack. And we actually got a Leon holographic trainer card. Not crazy valuable like the holographic full art, but it is really cool to see yet again alrighty let's get back on track here make sure it's in the center and focused and that is that and this is the first half last pack of the first half of this booster box Still nothing crazy out of these packs. We did get one full art. Oh, and there is a V holographic card. We did pull the full art version of this just a little bit ago. 
But other than that, nothing really all that crazy out of these packs. Maybe our luck will change with the second half of this booster box. But let's find out. Got a colorful cicada. Beautiful bird, walleye, mold, and a trainer card. That is not giving me a whole lot of hope there. Seeing that trainer card at the back of the first pack of the second half of this booster box. Here we go. Got the horse with the dreads. Slugma. And I saw this guy before and I called him like a sea monkey because he's on a ship out at sea. But I noticed it looks like almost a different version of Meowth with that little coin on the top of his head. But I have no idea. Go ahead and let me know in the comments if that guy has any relation, uh, relation to Meowth. It's just a different version of Meowth or something. I'm just all over the place trying to get this opening done with. We are at 26 minutes. I only have a few minutes left to get through the rest of the packs. Another holographic electrode. I think the maximum video capacity I can have is 35 minutes. So I am trying to get through this as fast as possible because I only have about less than 9 minutes left before my camera just shuts down and tells me I cannot record anymore. There we go. So I apologize if this feels rushed or if this is just really chaotic, but I am just trying to get through this and get this all in one take. And we got a it almost looks like a Farfetch'd, but an evolution of Farfetch'd. But a V holographic card, I will have to look up the name of that later. And anyways, let's go ahead and move on. Still looking for a full art or a hyper rare. Charmander. Trainer. Gotten a lot of trainers in the backs of these packs. Really sad. Now, I did have another electrifying tackle booster box, but the other one that I have is actually for my little brother. Shout out to my little brother. And I actually lined them up. Oh, oh, no way. We just pulled the Pikachu V Max. Full art holographic card. There it is. It is not the hyper rare, but this is still an amazing pull. Wow. And I said before that my voice was go already going, and it now it, it's just gone after that. Wow. Oh my goodness. That is crazy. Let's look at the back here for the centering. Centering looks great. Sorry, I'm gonna clear my throat real quick. <coughs> Woo. My voice is just gone after that. Wow. Centering looks great. I do not see any whitening on the top or the edges or any of the corners. I don't see any marks on the card either. So the surface, surface looks great on this card i would say this is a psa 10 and i'm gonna go ahead and put this over in its own little area wow that is amazing Woo. anyways i was saying that i lined these up next to each other and took a picture the two booster boxes and i let my little brother choose which one he actually wanted left or right and he chose right. So I got the left one. And now I'm kind of happy that he chose the right one. I am so sorry. I hope you get a hyper rare or something in your pack. Or a full art trainer card. Or the full art VMAX Pikachu card. That would be really cool if there were two. Alright, so Vaporeon. Gonna go ahead and finish this up. Another holographic card. Wow. 
I am not going to be able to talk tomorrow. I don't even know if I'll be able to record a video tomorrow. Actually, that's a good point. I don't even know what I will record tomorrow. I'm still waiting on my booster packs from America. The English sets of Darkness Ablaze to come in. I will be opening. I have four booster packs coming in, so I'll probably open two in one video and two in another video for you guys. And with that, we're trying to get the VMAX Full Art Charizard. I don't think there is a Hyper Rare in that set. I think that's in Champion's Path. I saw something a little shiny there. Let's go ahead and find out. And we got another holographic. We have pulled this guy before. Again, I still do not know the name. Ooh, I'm starting to breathe a little heavy because I just got so excited from pulling that VMAX Pikachu full art holographic. Yes, I have to say it. I have to say the full name every single time I say that card's name. Sable. But anyways, as we are getting down, we have three packs left here. The last three packs of the Electrifying Tackle Booster Box. Last three packs of the night, or of the day, whenever you're watching this video. Uh, but if you like this video, go ahead and leave a like. If you want to see more videos like this, then go ahead and subscribe. And if you want to let me know what I can improve on in this video, go ahead and leave a comment. I am open to... Uh, constructive criticism and if you want to just let me know what your favorite Pokemon that we pulled so far is and here we go we got another Pikachu this one is a Pikachu V holographic card but yeah go ahead and let me know what your favorite poll of the day was I know mine was definitely the V max holographic Pikachu full art gotta say it doesn't matter the or order I say that whole title in i just have to say everything anyways let's go ahead and we are opening the second to last pack we still have one pack after this to open and there we go and this is it the last pack of the opening so i'm gonna go ahead and do my traditional actually i'm gonna sprinkle the last pack magic onto the front of the pack because i've only sprinkled it onto the back of the pack and every time it's been just murder for me anyways let's go ahead and open this up i only have a couple of minutes left before my video says no more here we go do a card trick do a little flip water energy slugma and a Wow, a holographic, full art, Ladybug. I do not know the name of this guy. I just call him Ladybug. The holographic card. That is another amazing pull. All of the pulls were just in the second half of this box. That is amazing. Anyways, let's go ahead and go through all the pulls we got from that second booster box. So we got this full art here. Got a holographic. Pikachu V card, this holographic, this guy, sorry, uh, we got another V holographic card, another V holographic card, Leon Trainer holographic card, Machamp holographic, and another full art V Max holographic card. And then we have another V Max, or sorry, V holographic card, Snorlax. Zapdos holographic. I called this guy the mountain that came alive and started chasing you in my last opening of the electrifying tackle booster box. But last but not least, oh man, we got the Pikachu V Max full art holographic card, and that is just a beautiful card. Oh, anyways. Thank you so much, everybody, for watching. Again, if you want to see more videos like this, go ahead and subscribe. If you like the video, go ahead and leave a like. And leave a comment down below letting me know what your favorite poll of the day was. Thank you all so much for watching, and goodbye.